What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dill. You know what I'm saying? I'm back with another reaction video to the second pick in the NBA draft. You know what I'm saying? We got our boy, Brandon Miller, who averaged 18.8 points, 8.2 rebounds, and 2.1 assists in his uh, college career. So, we are going to check out his his college highlights you know what i'm saying because i have not seen him actually ball in college i have seen him ball in the uh g uh not g league sorry the um nba um summer league i was not too impressed with him you know what i'm saying i know he can hoop but it felt like he just tried too hard but i don't know I don't know, but we're gonna we're gonna take a look at the at the okay, film scheme the to see what that boy is talking about. Like but he's a six nine, but I know he moves like Paul George, so like, like make it make sense. He got good court vision. The shot, I know he got a shot on. Him. It's a real smooth shot. And like he gets space with it, mm, trade ball. Like, I feel like he's gonna be a top tier shooter in the league. He gives me Cam Reddish vibes. You know, like Lobsky. He look. It's just like he got he got his arms long as mess. So his. So he should be in the air for so long. Ooh, hold on. Uh, hold on. Uh, huh. On his down top. That's, that's tough. Now that's 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 tough. I want to see him like do some dribble moves and stuff. Like I want to see his bag work. I want to see his bag work. Put back. But like his range is there. Like I see where he's at. My ass. And as right now, it looks like he's very unselfish, but when he's hot, that man's hot, like. The way he's at now, he's 6'9". Pull it from right there. I don't think y'all hear me. He's 6'9", pulling from there. Okay, the bag work, the handles, that's what I want to see. The touch, float, a floater, that's tough. And what it seems like, you can't give him too much wiggle room with the shot because he's going to let it fly. If it's like smooth and in rhythm, he's going to let it fly. Again, he... He doesn't have to be close to the three-point line. Like I said, he's giving me Paul George, Cam Reddish. Right? He did say Paul George. <laughs> he did say Paul George is his GOAT. He did say PG-13 is his GOAT. But, like, he definitely has a shot. Like, and it's, like, it's effortlessly. You know what I'm saying? Again, look where he's at. Hash mark. Hash mark with ease. I mean, you got it. You gotta be able to hit that. But he's he's not even supposed to be out there for real. Not out there. That's tough. Hand in his face. Don't matter. Don't matter. I feel like he's going to be able to play defense very well. Like 
like he he'd be ready to shoot the ball like look at him just check him out he's just sitting there waiting <laughs> he took two steps to move just to get his line of sight that joint didn't even touch the net barely His upside is like, if you leave him open, like, you better you better understand that catch and shoot is, is let he's letting it fly. He's not hesitating with a catch and shoot. That's what I want to see. That's that's what I want to see. His bag work with the handles, now that's tough. Another one, I see it. Hang dribble, bump, patient, good flow. Good flow. Notice the catch and shoot. Not a catch and shoot, but a step back. A step daddy. Huss! 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 Now, if he plays patient in the NBA, like, I feel like him and LaMelo, LaMelo is going to have a sharp shooter to just dish out because you know LaMelo, he draws attention as it is. Like him and LaMelo together. What? Look where he's at. I don't think y'all get where he's at. That's tough. Like he's not afraid to shoot the ball. Like he's not afraid to shoot behind the back. He can get it anywhere. But like I was saying, him and LaMelo together, that's just too much room. Him and LaMelo together is going to be a good to see. Because like LaMelo, like I said, draws a lot of attention to himself. And he's going to find you. If you're, if you're a shooter, he's going to find his shooters. He's going to find his shooters. He's going to find his bigs. But I feel like he's going to have to be able to get boards also. I mean... What am I saying? He averages 8.2 boards a game. So, like, he's going to get boards. Haas! Come on. Uh, like, he's going to get boards. <laughs> Yo. Dog's a shooter. I got to check and see his three-point percentage, dog. If it's like 40, that's tough. Being a 40%, like 44, 45, that'd be crazy. And he gets the bar. He can get there with ease. He just choose to shoot. Wait, I don't think I've seen that. Hold on. Peep it. Use the screen. Don't use it. Come back. Look how much space he has. That's all he needs. Bang! He, he he's just a court vision. Court vision. Too much room. Too much room. Now, if Paul George is really his goat, is he gonna be a great two-way player just like Paul George? You know. See, I want to be able to get familiar with everybody's game. And like, like right now, what I'm seeing is like he's gonna be a shooter. Like, y'all remember the way King and Murray came into the league? He was a rookie last year, and he had that strap on him. That's what I see. Like, that's that's the role I see Miller coming into with the Hornets. He's gonna be a sharp, a sharp shooter to knock down shots when they need it. Cause that was Keegan Murray. He knocked down shots. He, a, he knocked down shots. Bro, Hornets is just so. He just be in the air for a long time. The real question is, we seen it in the um, NBA Summer League. You know what I'm saying? Him and Wimby going against each other. But during the season, him and Wimby. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. Hold on. Pump fake. Drive. 
Hezzy hang. Boom. That's just too much room. But like I was saying, him and um Wimby, I want to see who's gonna win that battle. Cause like I like like I said last video, I need to check that one out. Wimby is a stud. If he stays healthy, Wimby is a stud. But right now, Brandon Miller is looking. His college highlights look nice. Treyway, bang! Like. And he doesn't have to be on ball. And that's really the killer with him. He doesn't have to be on ball. He doesn't, he doesn't need the ball in his hand. Because all he all he needs to do is catch and shoot. LaMelo coming down the court. Bringing all the attention. Hang, hang, highest. Fake, pull, dime, three. He can average maybe five threes a game. Five made threes a game. Playing with LaMelo. I kid you not. I kid you not. Because he's going to be a start starting forward. He's going to average at least five made threes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do you see it? Hang. Use the screen. He doesn't need a lot of room to get his shot off. Haas. Haas. Boom. Post work. That's what I want to see. Mm -mm. See, that's tough. But I want to see if, like, he has better post control. Because that was just like a hang, hang, lay. Like, I want to see if he can boom, boom, shimmy, shimmy, post fade. Like, if he has that in his bag. Because he's going to have, he's gonna have to be playing some top tier small forwards. Like, screen, use it. I like that. I like that. Oh, he got a big on him now. And he's smart with it. He's not going to force that. You know what I'm saying? He got a big on him, so why not take him to the bar? You know what I'm saying? He's not going to take force the three if he has a bigger defender. He's, his IQ is there. His IQ is there. He does not need a lot of room. I'm going to keep saying that, but I'm going to end on that right there. I'm going to just stop because I've seen enough. Brandon Miller. The number two pick of the NBA draft has that strap on him. So right now, I'm just watching. I'm saying I'm going through the whole draft class. He's the best shooter in the draft class for right now until I see otherwise. You feel me? Until I see otherwise. What I see right here, he is a shooter. With that being said, Ranking out of one out of ten, I'ma give him. I'ma give him an eight point five. He's not a nine for the simple fact that I didn't see much bag work with the dribbling, but he doesn't need that. I mean, I'm saying he needs it, but I, I want to see a little bit more. But I can see he he keeps it simple, keep it simple to the pool. But I'm giving eight point five because I I didn't see any defense or whatever, but I know he's gonna play defense. I just seen like five steals to dunks, but yeah, eight point five out of um, ten. Like I'm I'm excited. I'm excited about the season. You know what I'm saying? Him and Lamelo Ball is about to be interesting. All right, it's about to be interesting. Y'all make sure y'all go show love to the last video. You know what I'm saying? The number one pick, Vimby. Wimby Yama, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And y'all come join the journey, man. Get that news out there. And I'm out.